Yes, yes, welcome to our YouTube channel as we focus more on the things taking place in the country. To start with, it is very sad at breaking this attorney to see in the 21st century there are a group of Kenyans more than a quarter are celebrating the impunity the mutilation of the constitution the mutilation of freedom democracy justice that was fought for decades. People lost their lives. Others poured blunts. Others suffered. Others got to jail, spent a long time of their lifetime for us to have justice, freedom, and in democracy. And now, it is very shameful to see some quarters of the country celebrating the mutilation of justice, others in the name of church leaders. It is heartbreaking, but we have to cope. Everybody belongs to Kenya. We are all Kenyans, and this country is for all of us. But whoever has a chance to educate a Kenyan the importance of justice <clears throat> because those pretenders, those cartels in the name of church leaders or religious leaders who are hooking the country to the highest binder in the name of praying for peace when they clearly know that there can be no peace without injustice. Even the true God of heaven cannot hear such a prayer. And if I pray such a prayer, or I pray for peace, and where I pray for peace there is no injustice, may God never hear such a prayer. Because I cannot be guaranteed peace without being served the injustice. Why? should it they advocate for the will of the people to prevail? Why should it they as church prevail or pre prevail for the justice to be given? They are hypocrites, they are business people stealing in the name of the Lord. But the true God lives, and in justice, the peace the country is bringing for will come together with injustice. There can be no peace without injustice. That is my prayer. I pray for peace too, but I pray it together with justice. There is no peace without justice. There is no unity without justice. May the injustice prevail together with the peace. Thank you.